Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 7, Transformations, Lesson 3, Rotations. Rodwan has an isosceles triangle tomato garden that he has used in past years. Garden currently sits at the points A, 1, 1, B, 3, 1, and C, 2, 4. Rodwan believes that it will get better sun if he rotates his garden 270 degrees clockwise about the origin. Where will Rodwan place the corners of the new garden? If you'd like to know the answer to this question, follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. Rotation is a transformation in which a figure is rotated or turned about a fixed point. The center of rotation is that fixed point. A rotation does not change the shape or size of the figure, and the image and pre-image are congruent. So as we can see here, we have triangle ABC with point A at 3, 2, point B at 4, 4, and point C at 7, 3. If I rotate that figure 90 degrees, we get figure A prime, B prime, C prime. By rotating a figure 90 degrees counterclockwise, we have the rule the point xy becomes negative yx. So as we can see, point a was originally 3, 2. If we switch the values of x and y and negate the y value, then we get the point negative 2, 3 for a prime. For b, it's originally at the point 4, 4. If I switch the x and y and negate the y value, that gives me the point for b prime, negative 4, 4. And for point C, the point 7, 3, switching the x and y and negating the y value gives me the point negative 3, 7. Rotating the figure further, I can rot it, rotate it all the way down to 180 degrees. The rule for 180 degrees counterclockwise is the point x, y becomes the point negative x, negative y, negating both of the values. So as you can see here, the original point A at 3, 2, negating both the x and y, gives me the point A prime, negative 3, negative 2. I can do the same thing for point B and C, where 4, 4 becomes negative 4, negative 4, and the point for C, 7, 3, becomes the point negative 7, negative 3 for C prime. Rotating the figure even further around to 270 degrees, counterclockwise, I can see that the original points x, y become y, negative x. So a, point 3, 2, if I switch the x and y's and negate the x value, becomes the point 2, negative 3. The point 4, 4 for b becomes 4, negative 4 for b prime. And the point c, 7, 3, becomes 3, negative 7 for c prime. A rotation is a transformation in which a figure is rotated or turned about a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of rotation. A rotation does not change the size or shape of the figure. Therefore, the image and pre-image are congruent. A rotation about the origin is a rotation that has a center of rotation at the origin, 0, 0. When we rotate about the origin, we can rotate 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. For a 90 degree rotation, the point xy becomes the point y, negative x. We can see that the xy coordinates are switched and the x coordinate is negated. In this case, figure ABC was rotated 90 degrees about the origin to form the figure A prime, B prime, C prime. For a 180 degree rotation, the coordinate XY, both the X and the Y coordinate are negated to form negative X, negative Y. As we can see in the diagram, figure ABC was rotated 180 degrees about the origin 
to form the figure a prime, b prime, c prime. For a 270 degree rotation, the coordinate x, y, the x and y coordinates are reversed again, and the y coordinate is negated, so x, y becomes negative y, x. In this, we can see that the figure a, b, c is again rotated 270 degrees to form a prime, b prime, c prime. Which of the following was used to map triangle ABC onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime? So we can see here that the figure ABC was simply shifted to the right and down from its original position. If the figure was not rotated or reflected in any way, it has the same position, then that is a translation. A translation is a vertical and horizontal shift. The following red triangle is rotated either 90, 180, or 270 degrees around the point 35 to create the blue triangle. Angle AC A prime is a straight line or 180 degrees. Angle BC B prime is also a straight line or 180 degrees. Therefore, we know that the rotation is 180 degrees. So the following red triangle is rotated 180 degrees around the point 35 to create the blue triangle. Rotate triangle DEF 90 degrees clockwise around point F. In order to rotate the triangle triangle DEF 90 degrees clockwise, we can use our protractor and line up the edge of the protractor with side DF. From there, we can place another point 90 degrees out from point F. Because we're rotating around point F, point F will be the center of our protractor. Once I place this point, it's guaranteed to be in the right direction, 90 degrees, but not guaranteed to be the correct length. So here I'm drawing my line segment from point F. Now I need to make sure that I get the correct distance. I can see that DF has a measurement of 4. Therefore, when I put my new point out 90 degrees, it also needs to have a length of 4, as when I rotate figures, they remain congruent figures. Now that I have point, the new point, I can come back and go from side EF. So from side EF, I need a point that is also 90 degrees as we're rotating the figure 90 degrees clockwise. So with the center again at point F, as that's the point I'm rotating it around, I will place another point 90 degrees. Again, that point is in the correct direction, but may not be the correct length. So here I draw my line segment in, and now I'm going to check the length of each segment. I can see that EF is a length of 4.47. So now I can make the length of my new line 4.47 as well. Now that I have the two sides congruent, I can go ahead and create the third side by connecting the remaining two dots. Given the image below, graph the image rotated around the origin 180 degrees. 180 degree rotation about the origin takes the points x, y and changes them to negative x, negative y. So if we can find the coordinates of the original points and negate both the x and y values, that will be the coordinates of our new figure. So the point k starts off at 0, negative 4. If we negate both of the values, k prime will be 0, 4. L is 4, negative 4 originally. If we negate both of them, then we get L prime as negative 4, 4. M is 4, negative 2. Negating both the x and y, we get M prime as negative 4, 2. And last, we have n, which was originally 1, negative 2. If we negate both the x and y values, we get n prime, 
which is negative 1, 2. So there's the, the graph of our new figure, k prime, l prime, m prime, n prime. Ayasha wants to rotate her current garden 90 degrees counterclockwise in order to get better midday sun. The current garden is located at the points A, negative 5, 3, B, negative 4, 1, C, negative 2, 1, and D, negative 1, 3, and E, negative 3, 4. What are the coordinates of the newly rotated garden? So we know for 90 degrees counterclockwise, it's the same as 270 degrees clockwise, in which case the point xy will become negative yx. So if we look at point A, which is originally negative 5, 3, if we switch the order of the coordinates and negate the y value, we'll get the point A prime, negative 3, negative 5. Following that same rule, we can take point B, negative 4, 1, and change it to B prime, negative 1, negative 4. C is negative 2, 1 originally. And we can change that to C prime, negative 1, negative 2. D was originally negative 1, 3. If we switch the x and y and negate the y, we get D prime as negative 3, negative 1. And lastly, point E starts as negative 3, 4, and it becomes E prime, negative 4, negative 3. So here is a graph of our new garden, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime. Rod 1 has an isosceles triangle tomato garden that he has used in past years. The garden currently sits at the points A, 1, 1, B, 3, 1, C, 2, 4. Rod 1 believes that it will get better sun if he rotates his garden 270 degrees clockwise about the origin. Where will Rod 1 place the corners of his garden? So now let's take a look at this problem. A 270 degree clockwise rotation takes the point xy and makes it negative yx. So if we take all of the original coordinates and we switch the position of the x and y and negate the y, that will give us the placement of Rod 1's new garden. So the point a11 would become a prime negative 1, 1. The point B, 3, 1 would become the point B prime, negative 1, 3. And lastly, C, 2, 4. If we switch the X and Y and negate the Y, we get negative 4, 2. So those are the coordinates of Rod 1's new garden to get the better sun. So remember, a rotation is a transformation in which a figure is rotated or turned about a fixed point. For 90 degrees clockwise, about the origin, xy becomes y negative x. For 180 degrees clockwise, about the origin, xy becomes negative x, negative y. And for a 270 degree clockwise rotation about the origin, xy would become negative yx. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it.